Through AWS regions, AWS provides an extensive global footprint in multiple locations across the world to ensure that worldwide customers are served with the best end-user experience. An AWS region is a physical location in a particular geographic area where AWS decided to build its presence with a cluster of data centers to host their infrastructure that will host all of AWS offered services. Within a region, multiple locations are selected to build multiple availability zones. At a minimum, three availability zones exist per region at three distinct locations within that geographic area with some exceptions to that, where some AWS regions got four availability zones and others got six, but the most common is three availability zones per region. So, if multiple regions exist, what would make a customer prefer one region over another? What can be the reasons behind your choice? Actually, there are four main reasons for picking a certain region over another. First, compliance and regulations can force you to host your data and assets within certain geographic boundaries, for example, GDPR in Europe. Second, proximity to my customers. I need to choose a region that is close to my end users to minimize the latency and improve user satisfaction and experience. Third, service availability. When AWS announces a new service, it does not become available in all regions at once, it takes some time till a service is rolled out to other regions. So, maybe, in a customer scenario, you might need to change your mind as the requested service is not yet available in your first region of choice. Last, price difference. Your choice can be based on economic reasons, as sometimes the service price might differ from one region to another. Let's explore an availability zone in more detail, or what we would start calling it, starting from now, an AZ. An AZ is a location within an AWS region, where AWS builds a set of data center buildings. An AZ location is strategically selected to be in different failure zones from other AZs, separated by tens of kilometers, so in case of a natural disaster affecting an AZ, it won't be affecting other AZs in the same region. All of the AZs are interconnected with private, dedicated, high bandwidth, and low latency redundant network links that would allow customers to deploy on them highly available solutions that demand synchronous replication to occur. Imagine that your active EC2 instance is hosted in a region, in a specific AZ. You will then configure your application to have a replica, a standby instance, that you will place at a different AZ in the same region, then your application will start running synchronous replication continuously in the background. Imagine now a disaster impacting the AZ hosting your primary instance. Your primary instance becomes unavailable, but you could now fail over your standby instance to be promoted to become the new primary, thus ensuring business continuity.